The so-called Colatz conjecture is easy to explain. Choose any positive integer. If it's even, divide it by 2. If it's odd, multiply by 3 and add 1. Repeat this process with the result, and just keep on going. For example, say we pick the number 5. It's odd, therefore we multiply by 3 and add 1, which gives us 16. 16 is even, so we divide it by 2 to get 8. Dividing by 2 again gives 4, dividing by 2 again gives 2, and finally dividing this by 2, we end up with 1. 1 is odd, so now we multiply by 3 and add 1, which gives 4. So we find ourselves in an infinite loop, just repeating 4 to 1, 4 to 1, 4 to 1. Nobody has found a starting number that doesn't lead to the 4 to 1 loop. The Colatz conjecture is that every number without exception will lead to the repeating sequence 4 to 1. No one has been able to prove that the conjecture is true. Mathematicians have checked all the integers between 1 and 2 to the 68 and found that they all lead to the 4 to 1 loop. But that doesn't amount to a proof because there might be a number bigger than 2 to the 68, which doesn't obey the rule. If we want to do our own checking, we don't have to run through the calculations for every number. For example, if the starting number is 16, this was included in the calculations when we picked 5. If we choose 27 as a starting point, it turns out we've checked these numbers as well. The main problem is we can't develop a formula for the Colatz conjecture. This is because the calculations don't have any pattern. They seem random. At least we haven't found any regular pattern yet. So no one's come up with a formula that includes all integers. Let's run a simulation using some different starting numbers and check if they obey the Colatz conjecture. <laughs> 